Um, <clears throat> what is happening to me? Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Hope having a fantastic week. I have not seen you in about a month. Where did I go? Nowhere. I was just gone. I missed you guys. And hopefully today's video will make up for my month being gone. Probably not, but one can dream, can't I? Uh, it's finally nice outside, which is great. It'll probably rain some more because, yo, I live in Oregon and it rains all the time up here. Eugene, Oregon! So, I'm sure it'll be more rain, but today it's nice out and it's been nice out for the last couple of days and it will be nice for like the next day or two. So this is the perfect time to do a little refresh of my patio space. It's looking rough. There are lots of leaves on the ground. I need to do some sweeping. We got some mossy green stuff, which I hope will just be like swept up when I sweep out there because it's been dry for a couple days, which is what I was waiting for. So it should be good. And best of all, we went on a little Ikea adventure. Well, kinda, I didn't do the best job of filming in there, but I went on an Ikea adventure and I bought some little goodies for us to put outside to help spruce it up slash do a DIY together. First things first, uh, let's go ahead and sweep the patio, get it all cleaned up, and then I'll turn to yesterday, Rachel, uh, to start the DIY, and then today we'll finish it. So that's the plan. Uh, and then at the very end, we'll obviously put everything together. We'll buy some new plants together and ones that are hopefully low maintenance because I am not the best plant mom out there. I will admit that first. I don't have any plants. I have plants. <laughs> Let's go ahead and head outside because it's actually kind of sunny right now and it seems like the perfect opportunity to do some sweeping. I'll meet you outside. Howdy. I wanted to show you. Look at the trees are finally getting some leaves on them again. Look at ooh, nice, nice. It's always nice when those leaves come back because then we no longer see that like roadway right there and it's nice, it helps to like block out that traffic noise. Mwah, so good. All right, let's get to sweeping. So interesting, right? Sweeping some floors. Ooh. <laughs> so now I'm taking her now. Okay. <laughs> Okay, everything's been swept and cleaned off as best as I can. It would be so nice to have a hose that way you could like hose everything down, but we're on the second floor and we don't have hoses, so this is what we're gonna have to live with. I think what I need to do is take inventory of how many open pots I have so I can see how many plants I should buy at the plant nursery. So that way I don't just have empty pots like I always have had for like the last two years. That would be fun, right? To actually have flowers or plants in pots. What a concept. But before I go to the nursery, I'll show you what I've done so far on the patio so you can see how much cleaner and nicer it looks. And then I figured I would spray down some soapy water onto the actual patio itself because that mossy stuff is still here and I think I should probably try and at least kind of get rid of it. So that way that'll be drying when we're gone and then I'll show you the pots and we'll see about painting them. So that way both the patio and the pots can dry while we're gone looking at flowers. It's 2.22 right now so make a wish and let's show you what I've done so far. So you can see the patio is still pretty green, so hopefully some soapy water mix will help clean that up. And I put everything in this corner for right now, so that way it's just out of the way. We have one, two, three, four, five, six pots out of here. Hopefully you can see a difference with how much cleaner it is out here. Let's talk about yesterday. Pommy, you're gonna have to go out of the way. <laughs> I didn't know you guys could time travel. Just kidding, it's the power of editing. Welcome to yesterday, but it's present me, so this is all weird timeliney whateverness. You are here to do a 
what is it a DIY we have not done one of those together in forever I don't know if I call it a DIY though because I'm just kind of making it up as I go along but hopefully it all works out and we'll come up with a beautiful end result which you may or may have not already seen based off whatever I do with thumbnails so here we are if you do not know what the product is did I say it? I don't know so the project we are doing today is we are gothifying some pots we got from Ikea. I did forget to film my adventures in Ikea. I filmed me walking in and then that was it. We got some lunchies because how can you not get some lunchies when you're in Ikea? Mmm, yum. And then I was going to film the patio slash plant area with you guys, but your girl forgot to do that. Oh, it's magical. I am rambling. We haven't even got to the DIY yet. So these are the various pots that I bought from Ikea. I bought this little balcony guy to sit. Let me go. I'm not gonna remake this, so this will just go on to the side. We need to find some plants for it though, because I don't have any outdoor plants for this little thing. Next is this. This is what my boyfriend bought for his prickly cacti. So I think it's a little boring, a little drab. It could be fab, so we're gonna remake this. The last thing I got were two of these cement pots. They're not bad in price. I think they're six dollars and normally cement pots are pretty expensive so they hopefully will be nice quality and it'll work out great. So the reason why I wanted these in particular is because the shape is very simplistic and it's cement. So let's pan to a gothic cathedral shall we? Ooh, architecture, beautimus. And it looks like cement. So this is why I wanted the cement ones. So that way we have a good base to work off of to add our gothic tracery details. That is the plan for these guys. Turn you guys my direction and we'll start the long awaited DIY. Some of you guys have been wanting one. Hopefully this is what you were asking for potentially. It is time. Now on to the materials we will need for this project. Number one, um, epoxy sculpt. I chose to use this since it's air dry. I don't really trust putting these in the oven because they have like little plasticky felty pads on the bottom and I don't really want to remove those. And I definitely don't know if I trust this in the oven. Next up, we will need gloves. I am on my last two pairs, so we will have to ration these out since gloves are a commodity nowadays. I have some sandpaper to create some texture on these since this is pretty smooth, so hopefully that'll help the epoxy sculpt stick a little better. I have outdoor paint, which we'll use after the epoxy sculpt dries in about 24 hours. So that'll be a tomorrow project for us, which will be the reveal day and all that jazz. Those, I believe, are all the materials we will need for our project today, so let me angle you guys down or to the side, I don't know. An angle where you can see what I'm doing and then we will go from there. Put down some plastic wrap to protect the table. Went ahead and grabbed these two mugs I got off Amazon a while ago for some references to look at the architecture. Next we have our scale here so that way um, I can appropriately measure my one-to-one -one epoxy sculpt ratio. So you wanna make sure it is one to one. First, I am going to go ahead and sand down my pots because I know if I don't do it now, I am going to forget. And for that, I apologize. I went ahead and I sanded just like the top third because I think that's where I'm going to lay my design on. I thought about doing the whole entire thing kind of like how this mug has it all the way down, but I don't think I'll have enough clay to do all three things. So I'd rather do like a cool little accent strip and then we can see how much I have left after that. So let's get on some gloves here. So I'm gonna change my Unistagram so that seems like a better idea. And I still stand by what I said before. This epoxy skull smells like freaking Doritos. 347, 350, cool, yeah. <laughs> okay, you're right here. 350, cool. All right, this stuff gets so sticky. 
gonna divide it in half so that way it's a little easier to knead together. We have our little baby lump of clay here. I'll let this sit for five minutes per the instructions so it should be good to go now. I'm gonna hope I don't get in the way too much so you can see what I'm doing, but no promises. I don't promise anything. So I have a picture of our beloved gothic -y architecture and I'm just gonna try and do the um, quatrefold, quatrefold? Very good call, but it's basically a four, the four leaf clover looking thing. So we're gonna start with that, maybe. I don't know the best route for doing this, you guys. What is the best? We have a ring. It's a ring. One ring to rule them all. Maybe I'll just do a trifle try. See if this technique works. If not, hopefully you find a better technique than what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna pull in different directions. Do you see? Hopefully I'm angling this all right. Like nothing. Radio. Radio. Okay, now I'm gonna turn around to this like this line, did you see? Ooh, my words are escaping me, but hopefully you can see that. Okay. No, it keeps going to three. So you know what? We're going to do a three instead of four. Do we see a shape of some sort? So I'm going to try and just make these more into points, these little corners right there. Boop, boop, boop. Those corners. I'm going to point them out more so that way they're more like what you see our architecture. And then I'm going to try and take like I don't know, a more like flatter edge like this and then go around to like create that divot that they have, you know what I'm talking about? So that's what I'm gonna keep doing because if I keep trying to angle this towards the camera, I don't think it's gonna happen in a timely fashion. So I'll show you what it looks like once I've like finagled this a little bit more and then uh, we'll see if it worked for one. And if it did, then we'll just repeat the process. We made progress. So here is what it's looking like. Not perfect, but you know, I can fiddle with it later. It's, it'll take way too much time if I just keep working with this and then not continuing on because it's already been like 25 minutes and I really need to get rolling on this guy. Otherwise my clay is gonna harden and that's not gonna be good. So here is the plan now. Take a chunk of clay about the same size I'm going to roll it. Here's the center like I showed you guys earlier. Like this. Do three little leaves or clovers, however you want to describe these. And then I'm going to stick it on and do the more defined details. That seemed to work the best. So that is my plan here and out. So I'm going to maybe do a fast forward of this. So hopefully you guys can see what I did last time in my little mock-up and we can see it looks like side by side and if it just looks really funny because I don't really know what I want to do around the edge here but I do want to get my little clovers tracery pieces on. We are making progress. This one is a little larger than that one. So I think from here on out, I'm just gonna measure an exact gram measurement. So I know exactly what size round to use and then I'll stick it on that way. I, I see, I didn't, I didn't do that. And as you can see, they are very different sizes. Since I left you guys last when I was filming this one, I just kind of helped smooth it out and then I cut the edges here, if you can see, so that way it was closer to our little tracery design. I'm just gonna continue doing this particular design all the way around the rim, and then I'll meet back up with you guys and see if we need to add anything else to it or if it looks good just like this, because I honestly have no idea right now. Hi, I figured I'd do a little check-in. So my clay is getting pretty hard at this point, and I've only done four of these and somehow I made them bigger each time. I guess now it's just a thing that's gonna happen is 
making it bigger as I go along. <laughs> That's what she said. So I need to smooth this out before I can't. And then the rest of the clay, I think I'm going to stick onto this guy. I already sanded it. And I think what I'm going to do is just do like a really quick spider web design because that's going to be a lot easier to do with harder clay than trying to do this very fine detail. It's just not going to work. So luckily I did split my clay in half earlier so I'm glad I did that so that way I didn't have a huge clump of clay that was hardly usable now. Excuse the door open, Edgar wanted to go outside. But, <laughs> oh man. This is definitely taking longer than I expected, so I'm not surprised that the clay is getting hard, but it sucks for me because I'm not even close to being done with one pot. I still got another one to go. So I'm gonna use IPA. It's a 70%. I think the higher you go, the better it really is, but I read in a forum that you can use water or IPA or some sort of alcohol to smooth this out, and I got some Q-tips here, so I think that'll work well if I dunk it in the IPA and then smooth it out that way so that way I get like really nice looking trifles here and here's like a before as you can see it looks like before I smoothed it out with the IPA so we have smoothed out this guy and have somewhat completed this one and I'll show you what it looks like up close so you can see the difference between before when I smoothed it out and then after I smoothed it out so here so it's looking like with the IPA, it's not perfect, but it's going to be as good as it can get with how hard the clay is now. And here is our spider web. I didn't get a chance to finish the spider web completely before the clay hardened, so this is as far as I got. I may add a little spider friend, maybe on the side or something, but as of right now, this is what this is looking like. And unfortunately, this is how much clay was wasted now that it is pretty hard. You can hear that. And it sucks because this is pretty expensive, the epoxy sculpt. The plan now is I'm going to finish doing my gradually larger trifolds, which I didn't mean to do, but that's what it's looking like now. So we got to keep the motion going so it looks more purposeful. So people who aren't you guys don't know that I messed up. And then once we do this one, we'll move on to the other one. And I think on that one, I might do a quatrefold potentially. The one with the four instead of the three. And then once I've completed that and completed my entire spider web, I'll see how much clay I have left and what everything is looking like. And I'll meet up with you guys once that has been completed and then I'll show you what it's looking like and we will go from there. Well, hello there. It's been a few hours and I've completed two out of the three pot slash planters. Um, this fellow right here, he did not get a makeover. I am pretty tired of sculpting at this point. I've been doing it for six hours, so I'm just kind of over it. I'm over the sculpting. I'm over the Dorito smell. Maybe tonight I'll finish it, or maybe it'll just be like a project for a rainy day, you know? So I guess I'll show you how the planter and the pot are doing. So here is the pot. I've smoothed it out and everything, so it's ready to go and just dry. It's a little hard out. I don't think it looks too bad, but to me it looks ultra funky when you get to right here where the big trifold is next to the small one. It just looks, <laughs> it looks funny. But if you like have it angled like not there, it's not so bad. Then the planter looks like this. I kind of hate it, not gonna lie to you guys. I just don't think it looks that good. It looks like super lumpy and bumpy and just not like a very creative design I don't think but you let me know am I being hypercritical because I've been staring at this for so long or is it just like not a great design be honest let me know hello there so before I leave you today um I thought we put together this outdoor ottoman that I got from Ikea this is the last thing I believe that I have to show you from Ikea so I figured um, I would wait to assemble it until I was on camera with you guys, and here I am on camera with you guys. So, the ottoman comes in two pieces. You get the cover, which is a purple one, which works great because my theme outside is purple and black, so it works not so nice. I don't know if they have other covers of this at Ikea. I didn't see any, but it is nice. You can take it off and you can throw it in the washing machine very easy and then you get this like inside cage part where you can put together and then you'll have an ottoman for outdoors it wasn't very expensive i believe together it was 59 dollars. So i think it was 40 for this little cage thing the 19 for the cover 
and that's definitely cheaper than what I've seen online for outdoor ornaments. Why are they so expensive? I don't know. Well, I don't see what it's Let's Buddy, that was tough to watch. It's like riding your pants up, you know? Gotta make sure they're all good and set. Ta da! Ottoman is completed. I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, yeah. Bye. Welcome back to the table where we did our DIY yesterday. So this seems to be pretty dry now. Luckily, I think I did the right combo because it is feeling pretty, pretty tough now. So I think it's been sitting for 21, 22 hours, pretty close to 24 now. I think I feel good about painting this one. Then you saw the spider webs. Ooh, uh, this has also been about 22 hours drying. So I feel pretty good about painting this one too. And then lastly, the one I didn't show you because I wasn't sure on how committed I was about making another plant pot, I did. I just sucked it up and decided, you know what, that was the time for me to do it, so I shall. So I did this guy. So I think this one's probably my favorite. I was trying to make a go with this one. So this is kind of my concept, is these two together. I decided to do like a little arch thing and I think it turned out like pretty good. And then just to bring in the other one, I did these trefoils, trefoils, trefoil, tre, these things. So I think it looks pretty good. Um, nothing on the back, it's just centered on the front. And I think that was just probably a better idea to begin with, because why do we need to go all the way around the plant pot when it's probably facing one direction? I don't know. I just need to figure out what color to paint things. I did find a white, like a beigey white, which I think will be really good for a cathedral. And then I was thinking maybe I could dilute down one of my, it's not outdoor acrylic paint, but it is acrylic paint, which I feel like if it's, if I'm just going to do a wash of it, it's probably fine. Um, I'm thinking about maybe doing like a wash, like an off brown or off green wash. So that way it looks kind of older. Let's go ahead and paint these and then clean the patio and then we'll go outside to the plant nursery yeah pots have been painted so let's turn you around so you can see what i've done so far and then we'll head to the plant nursery next up is this spider web one so i kind of did like a sponge effect with the brush where i kind of made it look textured i do like it so we'll see if it looks okay dry or if i'll just add another coat to it so these ones i just painted with that off-white bone color I'm leaving it to dry for right now because I don't want to be overzealous and put on that wash before it's completely dried. So I figured when I come back from the plant nursery, I'll go ahead and do that. Here's what the wash looks like. It's like a mossy green color, kind of like the outside where I'm trying to get it off the patio. Apparently I'm trying to get it off the patio and putting it on the plant pots. I do think it does look better now that they're painted. Let's run over to the plant nursery before it gets too late. It's 3.42 right now and it closes at 6, so I want to make sure I make it in time and have a budget because I think I counted 10 plant pots that now need plants in them, so woo! <laughs> checked out so I figured I'd show you as I'm putting them in my car what I ended up getting. Strawberry foxglove, English lavender, different kind of lavender, lemon thyme, we got rosemary, dwarf curry, this one smells really good, we got chamomile, we got this one and Vernie Hube, I don't know how you pronounce that. We got Bleeding Heart, which I showed you earlier. We have a purple version of this one, and then two of the obsidian ones. And that's what I got, plus soil. Woohoo! So I decided not to go to Dutch Brothers. One, because I spent quite a bit of money at the plant nursery. Worth it, I think. And two, it's five. Do I really need coffee right now? Probably not, but I did stop by so I could show you the little cherry blossom trees. Oh, they're so pretty. Okay, let me show you. Oh, it's 
It's a beautiful day outside. Somehow I'm Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Look at all these sucker retreats all around Portland. Yeah. Back home from the nursery, so I figured I'd show you the pots since I added a little bit of the green wash onto them, and I think they actually look so much better. I am so relieved because, I mean, this was a process, as you saw, um, and I think they finally ended up being like something I think is cool. So here is what this one looks like, and here is what this one looks like. I think adding that green wash, even though it's super subtle, adds quite a bit to it. It does look a little bit more yellow on camera, but in person it is more green. It looks so much better, I think, with this little touch to it. It just makes it look a little bit more old and decrepit and like it's a old cathedral. It's been sitting vacant for a while. Same with this one. I really like it. So I already get this effect. All I was doing was taking my paintbrush, like getting off that excess paint and taking it over to my pot and then just kind of placing it where I think it needs it and letting it run down if I want. If I want to take some away, I stick my paper towel and then dabbing off some excess if I thought it was a little too much. That's how it was. Really easy. I let these dry. Let's go outside. Here are all of our plants we got together earlier at the nursery. I'm so excited to pot these. But I figured while those other two pots are drying, we could pot these ones and then that would help a little bit of time. These are all potted. Those will be dry and they're under. Gotta watch this bad boy. I don't want him to eat any plants that aren't good for you. All right, we did our sweeping. We did our plant pot making and we are ready to do a reveal of our outdoorness. So let's see, remember before a little messy, a little bit all over the place, lots of leaves. Now, let's go to the after. guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this patio refresh uh if you want to see what my patio looked like back two years ago when we had nothing out there i'll put a link up here so you can watch that video and maybe you can find some of the same furniture that i had bought back then i've seen some of the stuff recirculating in the interwebs as i was looking for new patio stuff so that'll be there in case you wanna if you need to start over or you don't have anything on your patio, hopefully that will be a good one for you. But hopefully this gave you some inspiration if you needed a little refresh of your patio and you already had things on it and you just wanted to like spruce it up a little bit, maybe buy some new plants, make your patio all nice and new and fabulous again. If you guys have any questions about the DIY today or anything really in general, let me know down below. Happy to answer them for you guys. And I think that's all I have today, so. I will see you very soon, hopefully not a month from now, and we'll have some more springtime fun together. Hope you guys are having an awesome yet spooky spring-filled week, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Hello. <laughs> One last thing before I go today, I am actually thinking about making those gothic cathedral, gothic revival planters into an Etsy listing. I thought they weren't too bad to make once I got the hang of it, and I think the final product really looks good. So if you're interested in me doing a Etsy listing of it, and you want to buy it instead of making it yourself, let me know down below. Um, I don't know how well they would do. I have no idea. <laughs> so I think they would be made to order, not made prematurely, because if I make a bunch of them and no one buys them, that's just a lot of plant pots just sitting around my apartment. 
so let me know i will probably buy the same pots from ikea they're like the cement ones and then i'll just paint them the same color as i did mine unless you have like a specific request because if they're made order if you have any specific requests of mine why not do it i'm thinking about doing the gothic arch one for the listing but if you did like the other one you want me to list both of them so you can pick which style let me know down below definitely curious to hear your guys' feedback if you would like it to be an Etsy listing or if you think you could do it yourself I just want to know and if I do list them I don't think I would list them more for 25 maybe $30 it's mainly the shipping I'm worried about not the making of it uh, I don't know if it's gonna be at the end of the video as like an add-on or if it'll just be randomly put into the video somewhere like spliced in <laughs> splice um but yeah I'm gonna go okay bye bye <laughs>